Um, so I just demonstrated two different impression methods for creating custom ear protection. One is the legacy-based method where we take silicone-based material and create a physical impression that looks like this. It involves placing an Odo block in the ear canal deep enough to get a quality uh, hearing protection performance, both regarding depth and quality of the impression. After that, we use um, a gun like this to place the silicone-based material in the ear canal, sets up for about five or 10 minutes, and again, create an impression like this that we mail to the manufacturer for them to scan and mail back to us to create a custom earplug. The process for which we make custom hearing plugs has a lot of limitations that we'll talk about today. And 3D scanning is one of the first steps to address those limitations. So physical impression process on average is gonna take about 15 minutes, probably about five minutes to set the impressions and then 10 minutes for them to actually harden so you can take them out of the ears. The process for scanning the ears takes about 10 minutes. Five minute difference is not that big of a deal when you think about one subject, but I've had days where I've, where I've done impressions on 100 aviators and that difference becomes significant. But the real time difference would be the logistical process of actually getting your custom hearing protection in hand. And if we can cut that process in half because we're no longer physically mailing the impression, that's fantastic. That saves time and money right now. So what we've done here at Knock AD over the past seven years is test multiple scanners of ear canals and the potential it has to either replace or supplement the physical impression process. So what we did was we created customized hearing protection both with physical impressions and with different 3D scanners with different manufacturers. And then we take those earplugs and place them on human subjects in our reverberation chamber. So in that chamber, we can make sound profiles that emulate different platforms in the military. And then we can test performance of those plugs from a protective standpoint. And again, from a communication standpoint, if and when warranted. In this project, we are looking more at do 3D scanned printed plugs and manufacturers perform as well as physical impressions. And with the technology we're looking to transition, they absolutely do, and with less variance. So they're more consistent and more reliable across subjects, which is fantastic and always something we look for. The prevalence rate of hearing damage in the military right now is about 10% per year, and that's been consistent for 10 years. Now, again, I talked about how hearing damage doesn't necessarily mean significant hearing loss. You can have hearing within normal limits, but acquired damage that we can pick up on our annual hearing conservation screening, or we can pick up via other methods. But a little bit of damage can be a huge performance difference when you talk about a high workload in dynamic environments with communication capability needed in hazardous noise. So that's where it becomes very important. People can compensate pretty well with mild damage in everyday life, but when you really push the limits in extreme environments, a little bit of damage matters. So we need to mitigate the number one inj injury in the military but consider all the factors that goes into why we um, still have 10% every year. It's a problem, but it's a very uh, understandable problem due to the unique nature that we operate in and the fact that we can't feel noise-induced damage happening, but there are a lot of opportunities to enhance what we're doing now.